Hello, everybody. Welcome to week four of cultural anthropology. This week, we're going to be looking at language and culture and how the two are interrelated. Humans cannot have culture without language, and probably culture was one of the forces that led to our great linguistic abilities. Of course, many animals are able to communicate in complex manners, but humans are the only species that are able to utilize symbolic um, forms of communication, not like my cat here. Um, cats cannot leave paw prints or scratches in trees or any other kind of marker to let other cats know what has happened. So other species don't have a written past. They can't discuss the future. And really other animals the most, usually they're able to confer, uh, to um, explain would be their present emotional state. So this is one of the major hallmarks of what it means to be human. Every culture has a different manner of speech. We have a lot of different gestures. We rely on many different cultural apparatus to convey our meanings and our thoughts. We can even think of our clothing as mechanisms of communication. What do we have to talk about? We have a lot to talk about. We talk about our social status. We talk about our mate preferences. We talk about our uh, political standings. We communicate our professions, our interests, which sport team we want to support. We convey a lot of information symbolically through our use of clothing. And then, of course, there is always the utilization of gestures, which are very clear, and they're an abbreviated, abbreviated form of communication. All I have to do is point, and you know what I'm referring to. Look over there. This week's assignment, uh, you're going to be working on the wikis that you created last week. So this week, your task is to go back into the wiki folder and to read all the different wikis. I do recommend that you read them all, but you need only comment on a minimum of five. So there is a button. You scroll down to the bottom of the wiki entry and you will see a little button that says reply. Hit reply and you will be able to write uh, your comments. Try and make them constructive, uh, make them substantive. So don't say, oh wow, great, awesome. That's not really very substantive. So um, do your very best to provide your peers with um, your feedback on their work. So this will be your assignment for this week. I recommend that you begin preparing for your exam, which will be at the end of next week. Meanwhile, have a wonderful week, and I will see you online.